All right, so what I'm looking at here is my LCM real life campaign. It's a campaign that's designed to deliver my life cycle marketing real life course. Uh, that's a course about translating life cycle marketing strategy into actionable campaigns. So um, I built this campaign a while ago just to start fulfilling on the course when people buy it. And I've got a survey here that I'm promoting. Uh, hey, please take my survey. Uh, let me know how you feel about the course. But then I don't have any follow-up after the survey. And I kind of left that open-ended because I knew that I would get to it eventually. And it wasn't a priority in terms of um, letting it be an obstacle as I got this campaign launched. I knew it would be a few weeks or months before I had a number of people streaming through and taking that survey. Well, now I've got contacts in here. People are buying that course. So I want to make sure I have some sort of follow-up in place. And the benefit is I actually already have a survey just like this in a different campaign. So I can put three sequences here, promoter, and I'll say neutral, and then a final one for detractor. And in case you're familiar, these are kind of the terms that you use uh, when you're setting up an NPS survey, NPS being the net promoter score. Now, I don't use the NPS question on here. It's more uh, my own language, just three options. Hey, uh, were you super pumped? Uh, was it just okay? Or were you underwhelmed? And then an option for them to give me feedback there. But based on what they select, I want to put them into one of these three sequences. Now, because I have this campaign or this survey and the, the outcomes already built out in my CB Trilogy course, I don't need to reconstruct each campaign sequence. There's actually an option in the sequence itself to copy from an existing campaign. So I can say, hey, you know what? In my CB Trilogy course, I have a promoter sequence and I'd love to grab it and bring it into here. Now, the caveat here is if you're doing this, it's important to note that anything that was in this sequence will be replaced by what you're importing from the other campaign. But essentially what we're doing is we're copying or cloning a portion of a different campaign and just importing it into this sequence container. Now, all of the elements are there, all of the assets are in this sequence. All I need to do is run through it and set them as ready. Now, if I wanted to, I could change the language of this email and say, hey, thanks for trying my LCM real life course, but trusting me enough to try one of my courses is pretty generic, so I'm okay with leaving that the way that it is. So I'll just mark the rest of these as ready. And then what I'm gonna do is pretty much the same thing for the other two sequences, the neutral and the detractor. And I'll just kind of bypass that so that you don't have to watch, but the process is the same. We jump in and we uh, select from the sequence dropdown, copy from campaign. We choose the campaign and then we also choose the sequence. And it even tells you right there that these items are gonna be removed if you had anything in there. So I'll do that and I'll mark these as ready and then we'll get going here. Okay, so the last thing to do is mark this sequence as ready, and now I can connect the survey to all three of those sequences. And it's probably worth calling out that I'll need to configure the decision diamond anew because obviously these sequences are independent, so it doesn't port over the logic from the other campaign. Um, I've marked them as ready. I could make changes to those because now they're independent. They're no longer tied to that first sequence in the other campaign. These are unique elements. They all have their own unique IDs as well. So the last thing I'll do is configure this decision diamond to make sure that based on the form submissions option, uh, you know, if they selected really helpful, they go into promoter. Uh, and if they selected new, uh, it was okay or solid, um, they go into the neutral. And then if they indicated they were unhappy, uh, they'll go into the detractor sequence. And I have a specific outcome for each of them. In case you're noticing that the sequences are in the order here, that they're also listed on my campaign canvas, right? Promoter, neutral, detractor and promoter neutral detractor. The reason that is, it's because I connected them in that order. I made this connection first and then this and then that, right? It's not because they're laid out here in that order, right? So if you ever notice that your sequences are on your uh, canvas in one order and then in your diamond in another, it's probably because of the order in which they were connected. 
If you're curious about how this campaign works or why I've set the rest of it up the way that I have, the easiest way to experience it is by signing up for the LCM Real Life free trial. If you go to monkeypodmarketing.com forward slash courses, you can see that Lifecycle Marketing Real Life is one of the courses I've got listed there. And on that page, you've actually got a free trial sign up where you can unlock the first of four modules without any sort of payment or commitment. That way you can really decide if it's right for you before unlocking the rest of the three modules. Uh, if you're a MonkeyPod OG member or considering signing up, one of the benefits of membership is that you get video breakdowns of my various campaigns. And this is one of the exciting ones because it shows you start to finish how I'm fulfilling on this in a completely hands-off automated fashion. So check those options out and let me know if you have any questions.